a kite is flying at the height of a kite is flying at a height of 60 meter above the ground a fly uh, a kite is listen a kite is flying at a height of 60 meter above the ground 60 60, 60 meter above the ground okay the string the string attached to the kite the string attached to the kite is the string attached to the kite is temporarily tied is temporarily tied to a point on the ground temporarily tied to a point on the ground temporarily tied to a point on the ground okay. the inclination of the string the inclination of the string the inclination of the string with the ground is 60 degree the inclination of the string with the ground is 60 degree find the length of the string find the length of the string once again a kite is flying at a height of 60 meter above the ground a kite is flying at a height of 60 meter above the ground the string attached to the kite is temporarily tied to a point on the ground okay. the inclination of the string with the ground is 60 degree find the length of the string find the length of the string okay look at here uh, this also i'll explain to you yes sir Look, the question is, a kite is flying at a height of 60 meters above the ground. Look, here, uh, A, B, this is 60 meters, okay, B here. Then, uh, a kite is flying at a height of 60 meters above the ground. The string attached to the kite is temporarily tied to a point on the ground. Okay, here is the string. See here. Okay. This angle is uh, 60 degrees. Okay. So, what you can find out? The length of the string. What is the length of the string? Where is, what is the length of the string? Which one? AC or uh, BC? It is BC, correct or no? String is going from here, right? So that means connecting these two, which one? This angle, this angle, this one. Which which trigonometric ratio? Sine. Uh, sine 60 equal to 60 divided by BC. Sine 60 root 3 by 2 equal to 60 by BC. So BC into root 3 equal to 120. So BC equal to 120 divided by root 3 that is 120 root 3 divided by 3 that is 40 root 3 meter 40 root 3 meter but don't start from here you have to explain a b the uh, okay height of the tower and uh, at the point c the angle of elevation is at c 60 degree then in triangle c a b like that you write okay write first
uh, or should I you have to explain this one? Okay, look at here. Uh, the kite is at a at height is 60 meter. Okay. The string tied from B to C, that string, there is a thread now for the kite. It is here, the end point. That makes an angle with the ground is 60 degree. Then you have to find out the length of the string. Length of the string is BC. The connecting opposite side and hypotenuse sine 60 equal to 60 by BC. Root 3 by 2 equal to 60 by BC. So we got BC equal to 40. Okay now. Okay, finish. Hello. Darshan, okay or not? So, Rastal, Asta, Adidi, Devayani, Kiran, Dignesh, finish. Raja, Mazina. Simran, it's all finished. Are we okay now? Because we are, we are going to go to the next type of questions, two angles cases. Okay. Okay. So next question. Listen here. If it is two angles, uh, it's more co complicated. Means you have to check whether the angles. Okay. Listen. Our example is. Suppose two angles there is. Okay. Um, which angle is more? Suppose 30 and 60 there is. Okay. A tower is there. Which angle is near to the tower? 30 or 60? 30 is near to the tower? 60 is near to the tower? Okay. Now confusion now. Look at here. Listen. Listen here. Look, suppose, uh, suppose in a theater, listen, in a theater, okay, uh, where you prefer to sit, far from the screen or uh, very close to the screen? Why uh, far? If it is far, uh, angle of elevation will be less, correct or no? Okay, if you sit near to the, uh, near to the screen, uh, it will be very close, because maybe you are, uh, have neck. Uh, issue will be there. Okay. Record now, very close, very close to the theater. Maybe uh, you can see uh, agile theater, uh, some seats uh, very close to the screen. Screen three, screen four, like that. Anyone notice? So very close to the screen. Uh, I think screen number three or four, like that. Okay, so uh, that means if, if we sit there, uh, angle of elevation is more. If you sit very far from the uh, screen, angle of elevation is less. But some guys uh, prefer to sit very close to the screen because they want to uh, view, they want to see their uh, favorite actors near to the screen, especially the Tamil guys. The Tamil movie uh, comes in Ajil, if you can uh, see, uh, they prefer to sit near the uh, screen only. No, 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 uh, Ronin, uh, they don't bother that because, you know, usually uh, Rajinigan movies, okay, they prefer, they give uh, extra charges and they took um, very close to the screen because they want to see the uh, Rajinigan very close to like that. Okay, they usually bring uh, flower when the first entry of Rajinigan, they uh, standing and throwing the flower and all that. 
okay so they are very uh, they are uh, in, in their blood uh, movies there is not like us okay so you can see if you go to the tamil movies uh, uh, rush to the uh, first seat very close to the screen like that you notice that one any tamil guys is it like this okay so now uh, come to the question right a person a person uh, ronny all the shops open now bookshops and all ah you going today okay okay where are you going which uh, which uh, shop you are going your school today no 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 your school today uh, check that um, uh, check the which shop now there uh, one basement one shop is there their area going near lulu Ah, okay. Be, uh, yeah, near beach. Uh, Al Mishraf near Canary restaurant, right? No. Yeah, yeah. That check it. If there, uh, okay. If it's open, just send me a message. Okay. Okay. Uh, look at here now. Um, the question. Look. Uh, a person standing on the bank of a river. A person, right? A person. standing on the bank of a river a person standing on the bank of a river observe that observe that uh, observe that a person standing a person standing on the bank of a river observe that the angle subtended by a tree the angle subtended by a tree the angle subtended by a tree on the opposite bank on the opposite bank on the opposite bank on the opposite bank is 60 degree on opposite bank is 60 degree okay what question again a person standing on the bank of a river observe that the angle subtended by a tree observe that the angle subtended by a tree on the opposite bank is 60 degree on the opposite bank is 60 degree okay this line okay hello first line okay then next when he retreats when uh, when he retreats 20 meter from the bank when he retreats 20 meter from the bank retreat means what going to the front or back back if it is going front it means there is no more angle okay uh, when he retreats 20 meter from the bank he find the angle to be he find the angle to be 30 degree he finds the angle to be 30 degree okay find the height of the tree find the height of the tree and the width of the river find the height of the tree and the width of the river okay once again once again this question listen a person standing on the bank of a river a person standing on the bank of a river observe that the angle subtended by a tree on the opposite bank is 60 degree on the opposite bank is 60 degree when he retreats 20 meter away from the bank when he retreats 20 meter away from the bank he find the angle to be 30 degree find the height of the tree and the width of the river find the height of the tree and the width of the river can you try draw the figure and try
If you have problem, uh, uh, question, tell me. We'll explain now. Okay. Okay, listen, uh, this question, listen here. Uh, look, look at here. Here, a person standing on the bank of a river. Look, this is the river. You have to explain where is the river under. A, B, the river. Okay. Uh, here is the tree. B, C is the tree. Okay. A person standing on the bank of a river, observe the angle subtended by a tree on the opposite bank. That means this angle is 60 degrees. In between, angle is 60 degrees. Okay. Then, when he retreats 20 meter back, 20 meter here, 20 meter here, then the angle of elevation of the top of the tree is 30 degrees. This is the figure. Okay. A, B, uh, C, D here. Come on. Uh, look at here, those who are doubt, listen, I'll explain again. A person, look, a person standing on the bank of a river. This is the, well, the original position here. A, B, the river. Okay, we can assume uh, X here, this is H. Okay, once again, a person standing on the bank of a river, observe that the angle subtended by a tree, the angle subtended by a tree, on the opposite bank is 60 degrees. This angle is 60 degrees. Then, when he retreats 20 meter back, uh, retreat 20 meter from the bank, he find the angle to be 30 degrees. Find the height and put the tree. Okay. First of all, we take tan 30, which is the angle D, B, C, uh, H by 20 plus X. So that is, 1 by root 3 equal to h by 20 plus 20 plus x. So 20 plus x equal to h root 3. Call it number 1. Okay. Then uh, tan 60 equal to h by x. Root 3 equal to h by x. Uh, root 3 x equal to h. Number 2. Substitute here. Instead of h, we can write 20 plus x equal to h is x root 3. So h is uh, root 3 x into root 3. That is 3x. So what will get now? 20 plus x equal to 3x. x equal to 20, x equal to 10. x equal to 10. That means width of the river is 10 meter. Then uh, it, after that, this uh, x substitute here, you'll get the height. Okay. Are you okay now? Can again. And Okay.
okay so clear now everybody okay hello puja both puja prasmida priyadarshini nishi is it okay because we are going to have uh, next questions it is more difficult one okay here the 10 meter width is very actually a very small river compared to the uh, other rivers and all okay which is the widest river in india any idea which is the widest river hello any idea yes brahmaputra yes brahmaputra uh, some uh, some uh, time the monsoon time it comes around 26 km width is 26 km in rainy season normally it is 8 km so imagine uh, 26 km uh, 26 km uh, width of a river okay so now uh, this is finished now right we got anyone heard doubt this one hello roshan anyone heard you doubt this one are you sure about it okay so then uh, we are going to next question let's see here Ah, uh, you didn't understand. Uh, ten deep. Ah, uh, you didn't understand that ten deep plus x equal to root three root three power. Okay. Look at here. Hello. So if you have doubt, listen here. Look. The figure understood now. Ah, uh, Aditya, figure okay. Or or listen. Originally, the person at A, angle of elevation is sixty degree. Then he going back to D, twenty meter. So angle of elevation is 30 degree. Then look at here now. First, uh, you can see tan. I took tan 30 equal to h divided by 10d plus x. You have to explain uh, this. Let this distance with this x height of tree is h. Okay. So 1 by root 3 equal to h by 10d plus x. Then. 10d plus x equal to h root 3. We call it number one. Then tan 60 next triangle equal to h by x root 3 equal to h divided by x. So root 3 x equal to h number two. Now instead of h we are writing this one in uh, 10d plus x equal to h equal to root 3. X into uh, root three, that is equal to three x. Then ten d equal to two x. X equal to ten. That means width of the river is ten meter. Then height, height equal to here. Substitute in one. H equal to ten root three meter. Okay. Okay. Aditya. Uh, suppose uh, listen if the root three value is given, if root three value is given, is supposed to uh, right uh, root three maybe one point seven three one point seven three two depends on the question. Okay. Okay. So next one. Uh, look, next question, right? Okay. 
Okay, right. Uh, from a point, next question. From a point on the ground, from a point on the ground, from a point on the ground, 40 meter away from the foot of the tower. 40 meter away, 40. 40 meter away from the foot of the tower. 40 meter away from the foot of the tower. The angle of the angle of elevation. The angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 30 degree. The angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 30 degree. The angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 30 degree. The angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 30 degree. Up here, okay. Once again, from a point on the ground, 40 meter away from the foot of a tower, the angle of elevation of the top of a tower is 30 degree. Then, next line, the angle of elevation, the angle of elevation of the top, the angle of elevation of the top of a water tank. The angle of elevation of the top of a water tank on the top of the tower, 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 the of the tower is 45 degree, is 45 degree, is 45 degree. Find one height of the And one, the height of the tower, height of the tower, two, depth of the back, uh, depth of the tank, find one, height of the, uh, find one, height of the tower, two, depth of the tank, depth of the tank. Once again, look, from a point on the ground 40 meter away from the foot of the tower the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 30 degree angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 30 degree the angle of elevation of the top of the tower the angle of elevation of the top of the tower the angle of elevation of the top of the um, now, listen once again listen here from a point on the ground 40 meter away from the foot of a tower the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 30 degree next line the angle of elevation of the top of the water tank top of the water tank on the top of the tower is 45 degree question number one height of the tower find the height of the tower and depth of the tank Question okay or not? No. Question clear? Okay. Rest all. Simran, Varsha, Vignesh, uh, all the guys respond. Okay. Now look at here. Uh, don't start the question. Uh, who are all sitting nearby the window here? Hey, who are all sitting nearby the window? Okay, or uh, go to balcony. Okay, see the opposite building. You uh, view the opposite building. Maybe you are in first floor or second floor or third floor. Opposite building, sixth floor. First, then eighth floor. Just see now. Then come back. Okay. If you have nothing there, you go see a, a tree. First base, then top. Okay, go, go to the window or balcony and come back first. First view the opposite building, uh, third floor. Then fifth floor, like that. Okay, now okay, right? Come on back, come back.
So finish. Hey, where is it all gone? Got it. Check it or not. Okay, so uh, or I can see that uh, suppose if you are there is if you are not near the window, check your clock. Okay, clock uh, first uh, base. I'll show you our clock. Look at. Okay, see the clock. Uh, first, look at the six, then twelve, like that. Okay. See the our corner. Uh, we painted our corner. You see the our uh, corner. Where are we sitting? Hello, on it. Roshan. We painted the. Okay. Look. Okay. Come back to the um, question now. Listen. Okay. Now look at here. So. Um, Just wait. Okay. Look. Now I'll explain this question. Listen here. Now. Look. Uh, look. Don't write now. The question is uh, from a point on the ground, forty meter away from the foot of a tower. Okay. The tower is. A B the tower. Okay. Uh, from a point forty meter away from the foot of a tower. Okay. This is forty meter. Okay. This length is uh, forty meter. Uh, from a point. Uh, from a point on the ground forty meter away from the foot of the tower. Angle of elevation of the top of the tower is thirty degrees. This angle is thirty degrees. This one thirty. We mark it here A B C here. Okay. Then uh, the angle of elevation of the top of the water tank. Here is the water tank. The height is H. This one is forty-five degree. Okay. We have to find out the height of the tower and depth of the uh, water tank. A A B C D E F. This is the height H. So now again, look at here. Look here. Um, question: From a point, the point is C. From a point on the ground, 40 meter away from the foot of the tower. Okay. The angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 30 degree. First 30 degree, then top is 45 degree. Like uh, very uh, near the window. Uh, first. Third floor, then sixth floor, like that. Then what you find out? The height of the tower, capital H. Then height of width of the water tank, that is small h. You have to try. Question okay? Uh, question clear or not? Hello, is it okay now? You have to try or not? Okay, then try first. Draw neat figure, then explain the figure. Where is the tower? Uh, where the guy is standing? Where is the water tank? This all you have to explain it. Without explanation, no meaning. This question, okay?
okay uh, draw the figure and work out this okay Okay, okay. Um, just, just wait. Let finish all. Then I'll explain this one. Okay. Okay. Okay, finish or not? I look. Um, look. Look at here now. I hope your figure is okay. Now calculation only your problem. Look at here. First of all, uh, in triangle. Look. In triangle C A B C A B tan 30 equal to H by 40. This is 40. So 1 by root 3 equal to H by 40. So uh, 40 equal to H root 3. So H equal to 40 by root 3. We can find that 40 root 3 by 3. Uh, 40 into 1.73 divided by 3. You calculate that. Okay. Then next is tan uh, 45. Equal, tan 45 means uh, h plus h. S, h plus h by 40. Tan 45 is 1. h plus h by 40. So 40 equal to h plus h. You can find out h. Okay, from here you will get capital H. Okay, then you can find out H, small h also find out. Okay, do first. Okay. The height is uh, height is 23.1. Small height is 23 something. And height of the tower is, sorry, uh, 
tank is 16 point something. Yeah, no, you substitute the value, substitute the value of root 3, 1.73. Is it okay now? Okay. Finish all. The height of uh, the height of the height is around uh, height of the tower is twenty three point one. 23 point something, okay. Uh, water tank is 16 point. For all got. Okay. Pratika, you got? Ask the Krishna, Prasmi, uh, the Vignesh, Ranit, Roshan, Deepa. Okay. So next, uh, write the question. Next one, star question. Okay. Ready now? Yes, star question. Are you okay? Ready all? Okay, depth we got now. Depth, listen, uh, Ronit, uh, height we got 40 into 1.73 divided by 3. Uh, how much that? We calculated. Then, uh, from here, tan 45 is uh, h plus h divided by 40. So, 1 equal to h plus h by 40. 40 equal to h plus h. So, h we can find at 40 minus how much we got this? At 16 point something. Here yeah, now, everybody okay? Anyone doubt? Aditya, Diya, Deepa, Kiran. Are you okay? We are going to the next questions. Okay, so next one, right? Next one, star question. Okay. A vertical tower, right? Almost same question only. A vertical tower stands on a horizontal plane. A vertical tower, a vertical tower stands on a horizontal plane. A, vert a vertical tower stands on a horizontal plane. A vertical tower stands on a horizontal plane and is surmounted and is surmounted s u r m o u n t e d surmounted by a vertical flagstaff of height by a is surmounted by a vertical flagstaff of height h by a vertical flagstaff of height h capital h sorry small h at a point on the plane, 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 
the angle of elevation of the angle of elevation of the bottom and top so the angle of elevation of the bottom and top of the flagstaff angle of elevation of the bottom and top of the flagstaff are alpha and beta respectively are alpha and beta respectively are alpha and beta respectively prove that prove that the height of the tower prove that the height of the tower is h tan alpha h look at here h tan alpha divided by tan beta minus tan alpha h tan alpha divided by uh, h tan alpha divided by tan beta minus tan alpha okay look at here question again i'll read a vertical a vertical tower stands on a horizontal plane and is surmounted by a vertical flagstaff of height h the angle of elevation sorry, at a at a point on the plane the angle of elevation of the bottom and top of the flagstaff are alpha and beta respectively prove that the height of the tower is h tan alpha divided by tan beta minus tan alpha h tan alpha divided by tan beta minus tan alpha if you are okay question then uh, don't start i'll explain everything okay question okay or not if you got full question okay so question uh, everyone okay question okay then don't try uh, i'll give the note also this one okay it's a very important question look a vertical once again question a vertical tower stands on a horizontal plane and is surmounted by a vertical flagstaff of height h small h at a point on the plane the angle of elevation of the bottom and top of the flagstaff are alpha and beta respectively prove that the height of the tower is h tan alpha divided by tan beta minus tan alpha okay look uh, here okay first of all uh, here look here this is the ground okay ab this is the tower ab okay of height k capital s then for flag hosting there will be a rod like this okay that height is h small h the flag here okay this is the flag okay so uh, uh, you know that our flag we cannot keep like this only uh, independence day and uh, um, public day only indian flag we can public can use right right or not Pub public uh, can host the flag only two days independence day and uh, republic day only rest of the days we cannot use it right or not right the start of the, the start of the day here host you will be in uh, jail okay so uh, this flag is yes flag yes flag no problem they, they can use any day no problem they can make underwear also they can make pillow cover also okay there is no issue for them so now uh, here okay now this point a b c here d here from this point first angle of elevation this is alpha then top 
beta like previous question okay or no just like a previous question here okay question here now is an uh, first the bottom of first uh, the angle of angle of elevation of the bottom of the flagstaff is alpha the top is beta then show that the height of the flag uh, height of the building is or tower is h tan alpha what you find out h tan alpha divided by tan beta minus tan alpha are you okay question understood or not figure okay the main part is this question is uh, uh, trigonometric question is figure is important thing okay then if you are okay draw the figure then i'll give the note draw the figure first then just marking and all everything just keep it there then i'll explain here Just draw the figure and mark it, then tell me, okay. Okay, then write. Uh, I'll give the note. Let A B exactly like this. You have to write it. Okay. Let A B. Let A B be the tower. And B C be the flagstaff. B C be the flagstaff. A B the tower and B C the flagstaff. Okay. Let D, let D be a point, D be a point on the plane, on the plane, connecting the foot of the tower, D be a point on the plane, containing the foot of, containing the, containing the foot of the tower, such that such that the angle of elevation the angle of elevation of the bottom the angle of elevation of the bottom b and top c and top c of the flagstaff of the flagstaff at d are alpha and beta are alpha and beta okay then let uh, a b equal to h capital h okay up to here finish or not hello finish up to here okay or not this not here right okay uh, roshan uh, once again, let A B be let A B capital A, A B. Look at the figure. Let A B be the tower and B C be the flagstaff. Okay. Let D be a point on the plane. Containing the foot of the tower, 
containing the foot of the tower such that the angles of elevation such that the angles of elevation of the bottom b and top c of the flagstaff at b are alpha and beta respectively are alpha and beta respectively okay then let ab equal to capital h clear now okay finish and okay uh, roshan finish or not after that look at here now uh, So now look at here. Uh, in uh, in triangle ADDAB, tan uh, tan uh, tan alpha equal to H by AD. Number one, tan alpha equal to H by AD. Then tan beta. Equal to H plus H by AD. Okay. Look at the answer. We don't have AD. How to remove AD? How to remove AD? We don't have. We don't want AD in our answer. Only tan alpha, tan beta, and H only. So we just divide it. Uh, tan alpha divided by tan beta equal to. Uh, we'll get H. Divided by h plus h, cross multiply. Tan alpha into h plus h equal to h tan beta, cross multiply. Then h tan alpha plus h tan alpha equal to h tan beta. Keep it h here. H tan alpha equal to h outside. Tan beta minus tan alpha. Therefore, capital H equal to H tan alpha divided by tan beta minus tan alpha. Okay, do it now. Okay, finish it first. If not getting, tell me this one. It's very important question. Star question. Okay.
ओके फिनिश ऑल हेलो फिनिश ओके सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन Are you okay now? Okay, so finish. For all last doubts, uh, finish. Uh, Russian uh, and finish all. Ignish, finish. Okay, so I'll get the next question now. Okay, right. An observer, right. An observer, an observer, one point five meter tall. An observer, one point five meter tall, is twenty eight point five meter away from the tower. And observe. Listen. An observer, one point five meter tall. One point five meter tall is twenty eight point five meter away from the tower. Away from the tower. Okay. The angle of elevation. The angle of elevation. The angle of elevation of the top of the tower. the angle of elevation of the top of the tower the angle of elevation of the top of the tower from his eyes from his eyes is 45 degree from his eyes is 45 degree 45 degree what is the height of the tower what is the height of the tower question again an observer 1.5 meter tall is 28.5 meter away from a tower 28.5 meter away from the tower the angle of elevation the angle of elevation of the top of the tower from his eyes is 45 degree from His eyes is forty-five degree. Find the height of the tower. Find the height of the tower. Okay, try now. Draw. Uh, listen, uh, uh, the height of the person is given here, so you have to consider that also. Okay, try now. You draw uh, according to the questions, then find out.
Are you getting or not? Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's finish all. Okay, so finish all. Uh, look at here. Um, okay, uh, Kiran, look at here. Here. Look. The question is, uh, those are doubt lesson here. An observer, 1.5 meter tall. Okay, first of all, this is the ground. Okay. Okay. Look, this is the uh, ground. This guy, uh, one tower is here. A B the tower. Okay. Then, this guy standing here. Height is uh, C D. 1.5 meter. This distance is 28.5 meter. From his eyes. That's important thing, listen. From his eyes. So angle of elevation. First base. This angle is uh, 45 degree. Okay. This is the question. Once again, an, uh, an observer 1.5 meter tall. 1.5 meter tall. Uh, is 28.5 meter away from the tower. He is 28.5 meter away from the tower. The angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 45 degree. From his eyes is 45 degree, not from here, from here. Now, we have to find out the height of the tower. Look, here 1.5, this also 1.5, because it's a rectangle, right? Now, this 28.5, this is 28.5. Then, tan 45, simple. Tan 45 equal to A, 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 a B C D E. Okay. Uh, B E divided by 28.5. Tan 45 is 1. So B E equal to 28.5. Right? This is 28.5. Therefore, height of the tower is 28.5 plus 1.5 equal to what? 30. How come uh, Kavya? Uh, okay. 30 meter. Okay. How she go okay now? Kiran. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, finish all. Hello, finish. Okay, so our next question. Right. Um, a tree, a tree, 12 meter height. A tree, 12 meter height. A tree, 12 meter height is 
broken by the wind is broken by the wind okay one minute okay uh, right a tree look at here um, a tree is broken sorry a tree 12 meter height is broken by the wind 12 meter height is broken by the wind in such a way that in such a way that in such a way that its top its top touches the ground its top touches the ground and makes an angle and makes an angle and makes an angle and makes an angle 60 degree with the ground 60 degree with the ground 60 degree with the ground at what height question at what height from the bottom of the tree at what height from the bottom of the tree is broken by the wind is broken by the wind once again a tree 12 meter height is broken by the wind in such a way that its top touches the ground and makes an angle of 60 degree at what height from the bottom of the tree is broken by the wind okay this is star question okay you just try uh, okay okay question uh, russian a tree 12 meter height is broken by the wind in such a way that uh, its top its top touches the ground touches the ground and makes an angle and makes an angle 60 degree with the ground 60 degree with the ground Okay. At what height? At what height from the bottom of the tree? At what height from the bottom of the tree is broken by the wind? Now clear now, Russian. It's it's a quite normal question. Uh, when the wind. the tree is broken and comes to the ground like that okay okay draw a figure and try yourself yeah you take a root 3 uh, root 3 you can take value 1.7 oh 5.5 okay okay one uh, take the root 3 value 1.73 1.73 Okay, you trying now, right? Hello, you try first, then I'll explain here. Okay.
okay Okay, look at here. Uh, I'll explain this question. Listen on a tree. Look, you have to explain the figure. That is, uh, I told you now. Okay, don't just try to answer on this. Look, before wind, this is the this is the ground. A B the original uh, position of the tree. Okay, after wind, look. Suppose this is the tree. After wind. It comes to here, correct or no? It comes back to here. So uh, it is come to here. See, uh, A B is the original uh, uh, tree broken at C reach here. Okay. The height of tree what? The height of tree was 12 meter. This height was 12 meter. Suppose the broken at X here. This X. So this will be 12 minus X. Uh, angle how much? The angle is uh, how much? 60 degrees. This angle is 60 degrees. So it's here now. Okay. Hello. The question okay or not now? Once again, uh, the original, listen, the original position A B the tree before wind. Okay. Before your uh, uh, the wind is 12 meter. After wind, it's broken at C. It is, the top touches here at D. Then we have to find out uh, where it's broken. So we assume that this distance is height is x. Then automatically this will be 12 minus x. Reason what total is uh, 12. This angle is 60 degree. Okay. Now connecting these two, sine 60 equal to x divided by 12 minus x. Root 3 by 2 equal to x divided by 12 minus x. That is uh, root 3 into 12 minus x equal to 2x. So 12 root 3 minus uh, root 3x equal to 2x. So that is 12 root 3 equal to uh, x into 2 plus root 3. Therefore x equal to 12 root 3 divided by 2 plus root 3. Rationalizing 12 root 3 into 2 minus root 3 by 1. 4 minus 3. Open uh, 24 root 3 minus 36. 24 into 1.73 minus 36. Do this all work. It comes 5.6. Yes, 5.6 or like that. Okay.
Okay, finish. Hello, finish or not? Okay, answer is five point something, five point six. Okay. Is it okay now? Hello, finish or not? What about the rest all guys? Sadwick, you got? Nihal, Cyril, Vignesh, Varsha. So, uh, next question, another type, same uh, type, okay? A tree is broken by the wind. It's another tree. A tree. A tree is broken by the wind. A tree. A tree is broken by the wind. Okay. The top. The top struck the ground. The top struck the ground. At an angle of 30 degree. At an angle of 30 degree. Okay. Listen. A tree. A tree is broken. A tree is broken by the wind. The top struck the ground. The top struck the ground at an angle of 30 degree. At an angle of 30 degree. And at a distance of, and at a distance of 30 meter from the root, 30 meter from the root. Find the height of the tree. Find the height of the tree. Once again, a tree is broken by the wind. The top struck the ground at an angle of 30 degree and at a distance of 30 meter from the root. Find the height of the tree. Okay, do first. Same type questions, both are star questions. Okay, so same type questions, okay, try yourself.
15 root 3. No, it's wrong, I think. Check again. Ask me, check that again. V bar 10 meter. No, I don't know. You have to find out the full height of the tree, not 10 meter. 51 point, yes, Krishna, that is exactly correct. Root 3, 1.732. You took that, no? 1.732, I think. Yeah, so exact answer is 51 point, you have to take the root 3 value, um, 1.732. Answer is, final answer is 51.96. 51.96. Okay, you try, I'll explain after that. You try. Viva, correct it. Okay, ask me also check your book. Okay, look here. The tree is broken like previous question. A, B, C. A tree broken by the wind. The top struck the ground at an angle of 30 degree at a distance of 30 meter. Okay, this is 30 degree. This is 30 meter. We have to find out the whole height. A, A, B, C, D here. So that means. This height plus this one. We can assume this is x, this is y. Correct or not? The height, 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 height of tree means look, suppose a tree, this is a tree, original tree, broken like this. To find the height means this plus this one. Okay, only given 30 here. You know, sine 30, how can find that? Okay. Uh, tan 30, look, tan 30, x divided by 30. So 1 by root 3 equal to x by 30. Uh, x root 3 equal to 30. x equal to 30 by root 3. That is 10 root 3. This is 10 root 3. Then uh, cos 30, connecting these two. Uh, 30 divided by y. Cos 30 root 3 by 2. Root 3 by 2 equal to 30 by y. So, uh, root 3 y equal to 60. y equal to 60 by root 3. That is 20 root 3. Rationalizing. So, total total height is 10 root 3 plus 20 root 3. That is 30 root 3. 30 into 1.732. It comes 51.96. Okay. Come really fast. Your class may be starting today, this one. No, today starting this. Oh, this also finish. 8.4, 8.4 for which chapter? Uh, Identities, right? Okay. So, uh, listen here. That you understood now. These questions, uh, listen. Now, how many questions finished today? These all make sure because next class it will be more tough questions. Uh, three angles, two angles, and all. Complicated questions. Angular depression also that is. Okay. So, how many questions finished today? Nine. These nine. These nine questions. These nine questions. Make sure and make get the idea. Okay. Again, uh, go to balcony and window 
check the opposite house. Okay, top, bottom, and door. Get the idea about it. Angle of elevation, angle of depression. Then uh, next class will continue. Okay. Okay. This is enough today.